What's up? What's up, y'all? What is going on? What's going on? Uh, let's see. Let's see. So this starting week, uh, I think we'll go into three weeks and we will be doing um, the male figure. Um, the last three, I guess, and maybe plus a fourth week. I did um, female torsos, just the chest and hip area, and we'll kind of do the same with the male torso. And then um, we'll go in, I think, to the head. So we'll eventually do a whole body at some point. But for right now, we're going to hit this male torso. Um, Y'all let me know if you can hear me, too. Um, I have headphones to make sure I can hear myself with this microphone, but um, the wires were getting in the way and I still need to figure out how to get the cord so it's out of the way. Um, I'll figure that out at some other point, but um, <clears throat> yeah, so... Uh, Hey, what's up, Walt? Um, yeah, let me know if, uh, how I sound, if it's clear, if the music is too loud in the background or whatever. Um, it looks like it's <clears throat> saying that it's picking me up, so we'll see. Cool, cool. All right, so I got this. Uh, this is my go-to anatomy book. Right. And I, I've mentioned this several times um, in the, the the female torso joins. But um, I think this is a male torso one. But this is just really broken down into more or less bite sized chunks. I've uh, <clears throat> I've got a bunch of other reference books like this anatomy books and this one here it just has just enough so we can understand like muscle groups and what's under the bones and all that stuff like that so um and as you can see i used this for the hands one the first time so um i'll be using i think i'll just do some sketching today as far as the I'll probably do this whole page and just go through my uh, technique if you will and it's shapes right we went over that <clears throat> if you're new and you hadn't seen the uh, female torso I suggest you go back and look at it um, some of those I'm taking off and just putting on for my um, putting up on for just my Patreon. So if you're not part of the Patreon crew, um, catch those videos while they're still on YouTube and free to look at. Um, but again, if you're new and you hadn't seen it, I suggest you go back and hopefully catch some of them videos that I've been working with. Because um, I'm not going to go all the way back into the different methods and styles and all that. I'm gonna just kind of jump right in here. Um, and so we got, I'm gonna just start here and kind of go through this page. Um, not quick, but quick enough so we can kind of understand what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna grab my blue pencil first and then I'll go back over it a little darker so you can see what's happening here. So I'm going to zoom in some. I'll try and keep this dude in focus. Um, get some yellow light here. I want white light. I guess that's a little better. Um, so 
what I'm looking at here, when I start, I'm looking at his spine, right? He's got just a little curve in there. Um, I'm not sure what he's doing, <clears throat> but he's got a little curve. And then I'm looking at his ribs and then his waist. That's what I look at all the time when I'm looking at um, getting ready to draw uh, the figure. I look at that line and the two circles that make the, the torso. So if we do, let's see, I'll get here. We'll do that line that I just mentioned. We'll do his chest and rib area as a circle and his hips as another circle, right? And so we can see here where the bottom of his ribs kind of come in like that. And we can put that in there too, just as guides. We don't really have to follow that, but it's just a guide. And right now we can see the movement, we can see the line of action, and we can see the circles that make up the chest and the hips. Um, most men drawings are a little easier um, just because they're more just straight and angular. Women are more curvy, they have little pouches for their stomach, they have hips for children and all that stuff. Um, men are kind of basic, flat, um, straight, if you will. Um, men tend to have more mus muscles um, as far as the, the definition of muscles. I wouldn't say more muscles, but the definition is a little more prominent. Um, but this is an easy one, so that's why I want to start with this one, right? <clears throat> so now I'm looking at all these intersecting lines and which I called reference points of horizontal and vertical lines. And so if we take that bottom rib and I just make a line go across that way and I bring one here, I have a reference point. The bottom of that rib is my reference point. Starting off, just right off the rip. Hey, what's up, Brandon? I am doing well, man. Hope you're doing well too, bro. So if I bring this in just a little closer, um, you can see I put a reference point here because I'm using a reference point right here. And if I bring this up, and if I come straight down, what is coming straight down here? We can see his hip is... is has a little bump, but we know it's over a little bit. So, you know, again, it, this doesn't have to be perfect right off the bat. And that's why I'm holding my pencil back a little bit um, because I, I feel like I will be changing certain things or certain things may be slightly shifting or whatever. Um, so we see what's coming down. If we come straight across, we can see he has where his hip and his waist connect right here. And it's a little bit past this, which can be considered a new reference point, but I don't need to mark that. So, But we do know it's a little over from the top of this, right? And so now I know that's where the bend in his hip is. And I kind of just keep going up. I'm looking over here. And we're just going to follow that line of action, right? If we look all the way up, we can see his nipple kind of is a little slightly to the left. And I'm going to just say this is where the shadow is going to start. This shadow right here, right? Um, again, I've been doing this for a while, so I kind of know or I have a feeling of 
how far that should be. Um, and, and that's just with practice, right? I've been drawing this for a, this stuff for a long time. But now we can look at here too. This becomes a, a reference point where his waist and hip have that, that's his back. And if we go up from here, what do we see? What lines up way up here, right? So if we take this and go all the way up with a straight line, we can see that shadow, his elbow. There's a bunch of stuff that's kind of happening right there, right? So if I take my line and go up, I need to make sure all that stuff is right in that uh, general area, right? And this is what I'm talking about because I've done this a lot. I kind of just know or I feel, I don't know if that's the right thing, but I knew this is where that stuff should land, somewhere around in this area. I'm still not 100% sure, so it's just loosely up there. But you can see where I took that little shadow and brought it over here enough. So we're looking at here, and I bring that over like that. Um, and you can just bring his arm down. <clears throat> So let's look at, we know his nipple was over a little bit. Let's use the nipple as a reference too, right? So if we put another line over there, take your reference and put a line across his nipple. This is great here, right? So we got his nipple here. And then we have, let me zoom in just a little more so you can see what I'm talking about. So looking at my reference, we have his nipple, and if we draw a straight line over, it matches with his uh, shoulder blade back here, his lats. So the shoulder blade is on the opposite side, but his lats kind of fill out right here a little bit. And where that bump is, we can pull that all the way over there, right? So I'll take my picture that I'm working on, and I'll draw my line. And if we know this is where the little bump is that comes out, and if we come up a little bit here, we know we have to make that nipple match this line, right? And then that's where the adjustment comes in. So right off the rip, this wasn't long enough. So I had to make this because if we're looking at this just a little short distance, my bad, um, from here to here, it's just a little short distance. This is a little longer. And so I needed to compensate and bring that up some. So we have that little bit of distance from there to there. And now we can connect that. And I'm kind of just filling out the rest of this stuff for right now because um, there's a lot of foreshortening happening here that I'm not going to get into right now. I'm going to just put it up there just so we can get it out the way. And his arm kind of goes up there, right? And so now what I've done is I've matched up where that nipple is. We could probably move it over just a bit or whatever. But what I want to focus on is that line coming across and us making this lat match up with that reference point. Knees reference points match up. This matches with the bottom of his rib match up. And that, again, um, I've said this before in, in the other videos, is that um, that's what my brain sees when I'm putting all this stuff together, right? So instead of just trying to, you know, draw all the outside stuff and make it happen, um, I need to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, digest this properly first before I can even 
put that stuff on paper. Um, and so if we look here, sorry for the ramble, kind of just going up and we got his neck right here. His little Adam's apple kind of has a little shadow. Got some shoulder stuff happening. <clears throat> so according to our reference, it looks like the nipples kind of just go straight across, right? Um, he's not tilted, he's not doing anything major. So if we use this nipple again and just come over this way, um, we can just put it somewhere for right now, right? We're just kind of guesstimating a little bit. And it could move, and again, it's light. I can move it to the left or to the right. And then I can bring this other set of ribs down here. Now, looking at the reference, if we draw a straight line from the bottom here over, the bottom of this rib is just a little bit higher, right? So if we got our point here and we went all the way over, we know we want the other rib to be just slightly higher than this rib. And so we'll make sure we do that. And then we'll do his stomach. And here we go, right? So we drew this hip over here. I'm going to use this as a reference point right there. I uh, appreciate you. So I'm going to use this as a reference point. And if I draw a line from here straight over, here's where his hip and his thigh meet right here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this reference point. We're going to, or I'm sorry, I'm down here. We drew this hip at first because we use this as the reference. Now I'm going to use this ending of his hip where we can see the uh, muscle and the bone starting to poke through here and I'm gonna draw another line over here just again it's just lines just back and forth back and forth back and forth and I know it may seem slow right now because I'm teaching it or at least explaining it and until you get a rhythm um, of how I'm breaking all this down because I feel like this will help um, keep your your drawings in proportion instead of you know something being too far out here or you know one arm just a lot bigger than this arm and a shoulder slumping and it shouldn't be um, it, it's these vertical and horizontal lines all the time that I, I will not draw any other way I, I feel like something is wrong if I don't use them anyway so I'm gonna use this as a reference and if I come all the way over here and keeping in mind we this is the bottom of that rib if we come down now I know his leg should start jetting out somewhere right around that area And so now um, I'm kind of happy with where everything is laid out and where it's fallen. So now I'm going to just draw stuff in just a little darker. So I hope y'all can see it now a little better. And so now even with, you know, the shadows and all that stuff, because now we have some guide to go with, um, we can just start dropping the shadows and stuff in. So even here, right? 
Hey, what's going on, Ian? Even up here, right? Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can... If we were to keep going and start, you know, drawing his arms and everything. So now, again, we just take this. I'll use this bottom reference and come all the way over. And it looks like this underarm is pretty much even. Like I said, he's not doing anything terribly um, where he's leaning or anything. This may be down just a little bit, but I'm going to just draw it straight over. And so I know this arm, at least the bottom part of this arm, should be somewhere in that area, right? So if I take my reference or my drawing, zoom out some. And if I take the bottom part of my arm here and draw over just a little bit, now I can put that arm slightly above that line that I just drew and just throw that arm out there. He's got his bicep happening. Again, we're not too focused on his arms. We're just focused on torso. But again, I just wanted to show, I use that as a reference point. And I drew a line from here over. And I just put it up there a little bit, right? Now, I drew it dark already, but I could have, you know, started here. I could have started a little higher, but I would have just sketched it in a little bit. And then I would have sat back and looked at him like, ah, that's a little too high. I could bring it down some. And now I feel like it's where it should be, according to my reference points. Um... And again, that's all I, I use is, is these reference points over and over and over. And so even with the shadows and stuff, right? So we got an arm here in the front doing some uh, foreshortening. Since we have this as a reference, we can bring that line back over, right? And if I bring that line over on my drawing, we can see whatever this is. Um, oh, it's his chest. I'm sorry. So we got his chest up here, but there's that shadow under his chest that's right there. So if I bring my line over, I know that little shadow should be somewhere over here in this vicinity. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect right off the rip. But we, we want to just make sure we can see his chest here, right? Um, now, the rest of these shadows, because it's a, such a simple drawing, um, we can kind of just toss these in here. And I don't mean just throw them in there or whatever, but for the most part, everything, I'm assuming the light source is coming from this way, that way. And he's just got some shadows and stuff on the side here. Little shadows under his ribs there. And then he's just got hints of shadows kind of for the ribs, right? Um, we got a little shadow happening over here. Um, he's got a, there's a pretty decent sized shadow under the arm here. And then this is, comes into you just knowing your anatomy too, right? So again, yes, we are drawing but there are other aspects of uh, practicing and learning anatomy, right? Researching and reading. Um, 
all that stuff so we can uh, get better. <clears throat> you know, we need to know what's under this stuff too. And there you have it, you know. Um, let's see if I can get this in frame. But we have a bunch of reference points and vertical and horizontal lines. Um, so if we kind of just recap this dude here real quick, um, would you use the exact same technique of reference lines when doing exaggerated character comics? Um, no, because, you know, when I'm exaggerating, so uh, Brandon asked if I would use those lines and stuff for excuse me, um, exaggerating stuff. No, because now I am actually not using reference anymore. I mean, if I'm looking at somebody's stuff like, I don't know, Todd McFarlane's Violator or something like that, if I'm drawing that, then yes. And I'm making the exact copy. Um, yes, I would use the same lines, the same techniques. All that stuff would be implied the same if I'm looking at something. But if I'm doing... Uh, character creation development at that point it's just coming out of my head now you know so I'll elongate fingers and arms you know feet and stuff like that but um, overall yes I would use it if I'm looking at something and know if it's my own personal stuff or if a client is like hey uh, we're working on this game or something we need some characters, then I'm just kind of freestyling it. Um, Good to see you work, man. Your pencil. I appreciate that, bro. <clears throat> A lot of time drawing, man. A lot of time um, getting control <laughs> of the pencil itself. But yes, um, so like I was saying, if we go over this kind of real quick. So I started with the line of action. Right. Then I started with his torso. Just an oval slash anatomy rib cagey type thing. And I think I coined the term uh, anatomy method, I think. I'll have to look back at the notes. But, and then I do did a circle here for his waist, or hips, I'm sorry. And because we had this circle, we could kind of draw the little rib cage under there, right? And so, this was the first reference point. We took it from up and down and straight across. Whatever was intersecting at these other reference points is where we put that correct line or drew whatever needed to go there, right? Um, I used this nipple as reference. I kind of used this a little bit, but since it went straight across, it was already there. And... Um, let me see. And so we just started um, using all these. Well, I guess we didn't have to go too much uh, vertical. We used a lot of horizontal um, lines. And then another one. But you guys get kind of what I'm talking about. Um, a lot of reference points. Reference, reference, reference. Vertical and horizontal. Um, 
and you kind of just start using that. And the more you do this, again, it, uh, somebody mentioned last week, it was like muscle memory, right? Um, you do it enough, it just becomes naturally where you don't have to obviously draw that stuff because one who wants to see all that stuff but um, yep so let's do uh, <clears throat> these are kind of basic let's see if we got something else in here All right, I kind of like this one here. Let me see. Because there's a little, just a little different movement and motion happening, right? <clears throat> so I'm gonna do this one here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And so we can see, I would start with the back right that would be my line of action simply because it's his back um that line of action is typically the spine now we could go on the inside here too and use that as the line of action but i'm looking at this just sweeping curve here of his whole back and then we still may use this one in here, right? But this is for me, when I'm looking at this picture or this image, it's the back, the whole sweeping of it. Um, again, I'm gonna break this down into chunks and we'll just use vertical and horizontal lines to get that pose. So I'm gonna take it off you won't be able to see maybe too clear the reference, but I want to um, show more of what I'm doing. Muscle, me yeah, you said it last week. Muscle memory, bro. What's going on, man? I hope everybody uh, is having a good week so far. Uh, so let's see. So I'll start with my line here, right? And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do a circle and kind of keep that spine in the middle a little bit, right? We know his ribs kind of end here. And then his hips and waist and stuff kind of start here. So if we look at it, it almost is bent and in the shape of what that reference looks like. Um, when you're doing, um, I know when we were in school, we would do this thing called action analysis and it was just live life drawing classes, but in more dynamic poses and you didn't have that much time. And a lot of these, um, just the line of action is why it's called a line of action because it's action analysis and you're just trying to get that quick motion of what that person was up there doing. And a lot of pictures, because it's only like we start off with 15 seconds, a lot of the pictures are just circles and lines, just so we can capture that movement and that action. And so now, since I have the line and the circles, ovals, if you will, <clears throat> Like I said, we know his ribs are here. And I'm looking at the rib on here. If I use this again as my reference point, starting with that one rib again. And 
and I draw a line straight across, right? And again, what's over here? What's here? What's here? What's here? What's what's on that line? Um, and how far is that stuff over there? And that's where, you know, you kind of start with something. It may not always be the right exact thing, but we know we have this area here, right? A point, we know ribs kind of come up like that. Um, and now it's just for us as artists to figure that stuff out, right? So on the reference, I can see his stomach is kind of a little bit of uh, wrinkled over because he's bent over kind of hard. And I'm going to just say this is the outside of his of the his uh, left side of the body, right? I'm just guessing. I don't know if this is right. I don't know if it should be over here a little more or inside here. I'm just taking a guess, and I'm going to say we're going to leave it like that. As I'm looking at my reference, like I said, I can see a stomach kind of wrinkled over. And I'll lightly draw in that wrinkle and kind of, again, see where that lands. If I'm happy with it, cool. If not, we can always move it. Now, if I use this point, his stomach has a little, uh, another wrinkle here. So there's a few things that I can already see that I know I'm kind of on the right track, right? just by putting that point there and he's got that little bubble the crease here and this crease there it, it seems like as i'm looking it's the same distance all the way over so it's not like it gets closer to this line it, it everything looks even in here so now i have a really good starting point now now I can just start looking around if I want to come up here and see what's up here. If I want to come down and see what's down here, I can do that, right? And so now on this part, I'm just coming up a little bit and I can see where his nipple is kind of right here. So I'm gonna definitely use that as a reference point. And then his chest kind of comes up a little more. And now I'm going to take this line over here. What's happening over here? I want to know what's going on up here too, right? With this first reference point. What is what is up there? And it looks like his underarm is somewhere around here. Like under his, his underarm part is somewhere up here. Again, I have no clue if this is right, I don't know just yet, but it's there. And his other nipple is kind of here. So now when I'm looking at my reference, here's a diagonal one we can use, right? And so this is um, something to, to, to remember. And I think we were going about this. Um, we were talking about this um, maybe in the second or third one where the girl was tilted a little bit, too. So women tend to have uh, uh, posy poses, if you will. I don't know. It's just what women do. And guys are more like, and especially like superhero stuff, right? Um, but this is for anything, male or female torsos. If your nipples are like that, your shoulders are typically the same way. Because um, your, your waist is the ball. Then you got your hip and then you got your chest. The, the pivot is the 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 hip or right in between that <clears throat> and you can't have your 
shoulders going this way and your nipples going that way. Everything goes that way. Shoulders, elbows, um, unless the elbows are, you know, doing something different. But your shoulders and your nipples go that way and your hips typically go the other way. So with that said, if I'm looking at my reference and... I can draw this diagonal line, I know that other nipple should be on point with that. And because his nipples are like that, I know his shoulders should be the same way. Always remember that. Nipples, shoulder, hips go the opposite way. So if I'm going to use this nipple as a reference to what's coming out here. You know, what's what's on this line of reference. Looking at my reference, I can see his lat muscle right here. And it comes out to the back, right? And so I'm just sketching this in lightly because it can go either way just a little bit. So I'm kind of just lightly putting it in there. And then I want to take this reference point again. And if I go up, what's it intersecting with this um, lat muscle? And I'm close. I can probably bring where this point is. I can probably bring this point down just a little bit. So this is my new reference point. Where his underarm meets with the lat muscle. That's my new reference point. And again, I know uh, just the lines and all that stuff, it may sound intimidating. It may sound a little, um, it just may sound a lot, right? But again, this is what my brain thinks about um, and how I can get these proportions right. I think that's the biggest thing for me is proportions. Um, making chest the right size, making arms and shoulders and all that stuff, right? And so my reference, he has a shadow happening here. So I'm going to use that to help me also. If we bring that in and that comes over a little bit. And so what's happening is when I use this reference point, this shadow kind of is on that same line, just over a little bit, right? So I'm using that to help me make sure all this other stuff is where it's supposed to be. Um, and now how far is his actual back over here to this reference line? If that comes up, I'm gonna just say somewhere around here. Again, we're just guessing. He's got his back kind of coming up there. And again, I'm just sketching around a little bit, just feeling this reference and making sure stuff is where it's supposed to be, right? Um, so I'm looking at these lines and as I'm coming up along his back, I'm seeing where, what part of the back should this line be lined up with, right? If I got that line coming here, from this part of his back to this part, is it center of that or is it a little higher than that or is it a little lower? Um, And it's almost in the center, so I'm cool with where it's laying, right?
And now I'm almost just connecting dots, really, right? When I get out here, right? I'm just connecting these dots almost. Um, his shoulders. And so I'm looking at also the top part of this chest right here, his tricep is right there. So that helped me understand. And again, I'm just using these, this as a reference point, right? So if he's kind of hunched over and his arm is cutting across his upper chest, I have this arm and the muscles in it also to use as my uh, advantage because triceps on dudes are a lot more prominent. We can see, you know, that, that, uh, I don't know what the name of it. I know it's the tricep, but what makes it bulge out like that? whatever that that's it's always been a really cool thing for me to draw is the the male bicep or tricep um and not to get on a tangent of that but i use that little um bump out if you will as reference and it lines up with the center of his chest um let's see his other arm is just coming down here out that way and so he has shadows right we got his, some of his ribs creating some shadows Um, we got the lat muscle here that's causing some shadows and stuff like that. Um, and so if I'm still using this reference, if we come down... So now we're past this wrinkle in his stomach. We have his hip kind of coming around here. Like that. And his legs kind of taper off or whatever he's doing. He looks like he's sitting with his hand on his chin. He's thinking about something. I don't know. Because all this is in here, I'm just kind of filling that in a little bit. And then once I'm happy with kind of, like I said, where, where stuff needs to lay like it's supposed to um, then that's kind of where I go in a little harder with the pencil and start making some permanent markings if you will and there we have, let's see if I can bring this together. And 
if I zoom in just a little bit. And so we have uh, another uh, torso, right? Um, and the same thing, let's go over this real quick. I use this as my first reference point. I use both of these nipples and mainly this line helped me a lot to get where I got here. <clears throat> I used under his arm as another reference point. And then we just used those lines and hung stuff off of that. Um, I do hope this is making sense. Um, you know, as you go over, you know, what your method is, um, it's easy for me because this is I, this is the way I do it. You know, um, the hard part is getting other people <laughs> to uh, buy into um, what you do and how you do it, right? And not just buy in like money, buy in like. Um, your method and your style and the way you do things. Um, I want this to be uh, I don't want to say easy because it's not easy. I, I want to say I want it to be less intimidating because once you get a certain method like and my method may not fit for you my method may be a little more complex you know my method may be a, a lot less complex um, my thing is is that I just want it to be enough to where you can get something that you see on paper in the right proportions and done correctly. Um, I like to think it's as, it's easy. Uh, no, we said not easy. Less complicated or less, less aggressive. Uh, because it can be intimidating, right? Drawing in general. Um, but I hope that this is enough to where it's like, oh, I kind of... And, and something just clicks, right? You can... You don't even have to use this whole method, right? You can take... I don't know, Jim Lee, Todd McFarlane, um, Boris Valho. Um, you could take everybody's stuff and use it, but hopefully whatever you're getting out of this, it helps uh, add on to your, your uh, arsenal, your muscle memory of, okay, let me get these reference points down first. Then I can use... Uh, McFarlane's etchy, sketchy style and how he does that. Or you can use J. Scott Campbell on how he does stuff. So, like I said, I just want the basics, right? I want people to understand that um, I always feel like it's ratatouille, right? Anyone can draw. Um, anyone can cook. And so I'm hoping that this is a little easier for folks. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, so with this, I'm going to write some notes on here and post it to uh, Patreon. And uh, <clears throat> next week, I think I'm going to do um, just the big, so, so kind of like I've done with the, the lady torso, right? We kind of went over this stuff and then um, we talked about different methods and all that. But then those last two um, uh, weeks, we kind of, I just done a big piece. So I think I'm going to do two 
after t next week and the week after, I'm gonna do two big pieces. I think one of the people I want to draw is Spawn. Um, and if y'all give me some suggestions, I'll draw another dude or something. But I know one of them I'm gonna draw Spawn. Um, he's just always been one of my favorite characters. Um, he's got a lot of muscles, a lot of. Uh, he just got a lot of stuff happening. And I know, again, that looks intimidating, but I'm going to just break it down. One, we'll just do his torso, too. So I'm not going to do the whole, like, head and um, arms and feet and all that stuff. Uh, I may do the head because it's spawn. But um, I'm going to just get a really cool picture of spawn in the... In the a different pose, right? We want something action-y so I can go over the line of action and all that other stuff too, but um, yeah, I'm going to do Spawn next week and then if y'all email me, hit me up on Instagram or something, hopefully I'll see it. Um, I I'll pick somebody else. I may do an anime character, right? Um, but I, if I do an anime character, I want it to be... Uh, he don't got to be naked, naked, but where we can see the muscles and stuff like that. Because I don't want to get into clothes and stuff right now. That's, excuse me, that's a whole nother ball of wax. It's still the same method as far as the reference point, but adding clothes and stuff like that. Like, we need to know what's under the clothes first. And then we'll go to other stuff. Spawn would be cool to... Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just a good character, man. Um, but yeah, with that said... Um, shoot, I'll see y'all next week, man. And... Um, practice. You know. Um, if you got some stuff you want to share... Share with me. Somebody keeps sending me stuff, but I keep missing it on Instagram. Um, they send me videos. I don't know if it's one of y'all or somebody sends me something, but... You guys can email me, so email me stuff. Oh, and Brandon, I replied back to your email, finally. Um, and then after, like I said, after this series, we'll do heads. And then the next one, we'll do something else. So um, I appreciate y'all for hanging with me. And <clears throat> I will see y'all next week. Peace.